This is a model of the three-chamber diesel. Compressed air was used to simulate combustion, and it was triggered with timing marks on the crankshaft. The purpose of this video is to show how the three-chamber diesel works. Here is an older model, and it's in pieces, so it's easier to see what is going on. Air enters through these slots in the side and go into the first chamber, which is the supercharger. After the air enters the supercharger, it is trapped because there is a valve blocking the inlet port. The trapped air in the supercharger is then forced into the combustion chamber through slots in the combustion chamber wall. The combustion chamber starts to move and it closes the slots. The trapped air is compressed, fuel is added, and we get the power stroke. Then, just before the end of the power stroke, the transfer valve at the bottom of the combustion chamber opens and transfers the combustion gases into the secondary expansion chamber. There, the gases give up their heat energy and convert it into extra power. And then finally, the exhaust valves open and the combustion gases are pushed out. If this model had been put together, the piston would be reciprocating as the valves operate. The three-chamber diesel has a planetary crankshaft, so there are no connecting rods or separate camshaft.